welcome you back to uh, Lake Rayburn United Methodist Church. I am Reverend Jerry Martin, and we are doing our uh, Wednesday morning Bible studies. Uh, I would like to tell you again that you can follow our services on uh, Lake Rayburn Methodist.com or Rayburn Methodist on Facebook or on YouTube. You can go to Lake Rayburn UMC. You catch up on, go back and catch all the Bible studies. Uh, you can catch uh, our Sunday services, anything that you would like. And if you would like to be part of our uh, email system where we send out devotions every day, just go to the Facebook page and send it in and we'll get you on the list to go. Now, before we start, I want to remind you about this coming Friday. This coming Friday is our food drive. Uh, Jasper Shares is out of food and they have uh, increased clientele due to all the work stoppages and everything. People losing their jobs and places closing. Uh, so it's putting a bigger stress on their food. So we're doing a food drive for them and I would encourage everyone to help. We can all give, I don't care if it's just a couple of cans or a, or a bag of beans, something. We can all give something. And uh, so please do that and drop them off here Friday morning, uh, Friday between nine o'clock in the morning and five o'clock in the evening. Uh, we want you to drive up, to drop off, and to uh, do good. So we hope that you do all of that and everything is fine with you. Let's uh, open with our prayer now. Almighty and ever loving God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers. For this church family, strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us all to be of one heart and one mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we will get started. We have, uh, again, this. we're on chapter 6 of in the book here, if God has a refrigerator, your picture is on it. And chapter six is uh, celebrating God's enduring music. Okay, first we will read our message for the day. It comes from Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 through 18. For it is as if a man uh, going on a journey summons his slaves and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his abilities. Then he went away. The one who had received five talents went off at once and traded with them and made five more talents. In the same way, the one who had two talents made two more talents. But the one who had received the one talent went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. Again, that's from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25. So we begin today uh, with a story about a, a violinist. His name was, uh, I believe it's Itzhak Perlman. He's a virtuoso. And, uh, but he had been stricken with polo, polio from childhood, and he was, could not walk on his own. He had real heavy braces on his legs, and he had crutches, and he could just barely struggle to get out on the stage and take a seat. Well, this one night, uh, as he started to play, one of the strings on his violin broke. And when the string broke, it, it was a loud pop, and everybody in the audience heard it. And they were all worried, what's he going to do now? He's only got three strings left on that violin. He's going to have to go someplace and get it restrung. But Perlman closed his eyes for a moment, and then he told the orchestra leader to start the song. And he played the entire concert with just three strings on his violin and never missed a note. And after it was over, there was thunderous applause, and Perlman said, sometimes uh, it is the artist's task to find out how much music uh, you can still make with what you have left. And a man named uh, Jack Reamer wrote, perhaps that's the way of life, not just for artists, but for all of us. And maybe our task in this fast-changing world is that's so full of destruction and bewilderment and, and is to make music with all that we have. And when that is no longer possible, we make music with what we have left. Life is always in a state of flux. Changes require us to change also. Uh, 
some of us are like the servant with one talent, Matthew, Matthew 25. Uh, they don't like to, to have a change. They don't like what they have left, so they become bitter. They become filled with apathy. They throw up their hands in dismay. They throw in the towel and defeat, and they, they cry out, Life's not fair to me. Life has given me a raw deal. It's others seem always to have a lot, but I never have anything. So they bury their talent in the ground, and their music in their life stops. There's an old country song called, I Hope You Dance. And the song is about uh, the same thing as Matthew 25 is about. Don't get bitter with what life brings you. Don't get disillusioned. Keep on making music with whatever you have left. Keep celebrating life. That's, I hope you dance. Uh, now we come, of course, we have three things that the author always has for us that we look at here. Uh, first one is after a, a big disappointment, we're called to make music with what we have left. A disappointment is just a fact of life. It happens, it's going to come to all of us. Uh, we all start out with what we want to do and because we all want to write our own stories of how we live our life, and that's good. But things always change. Disappointments come in. Let me give you some examples. Beethoven was blind, but he wrote some absolutely beautiful music. Uh, Pasteur uh, was paralytic at 46, but medically he did some great things. Uh, Helen Keller was deaf, blind, and unable to, to speak intelligibly. Paul wanted to go to Spain to start a church, but he ended up in prison in Rome. Every one of them, with the help of God, turned their disappointments into victory. The cross of Jesus uh, looked for all the world uh, like a great disappointment to many, many people. But Easter morning, God made his own victory, his own music. There's a story about a young man that was uh, disappointed because he wanted to go to Africa as a missionary, and he was unable to go. So he asked God, said, God, give me a different direction and, and help me find what I'm made for. So he stayed home and he helped his father, who was a reformed alcoholic. He was trying to find a way uh, to make non-alcoholic wine for the church to have communion with. Uh, and they did, and it went over so well they began to sell it in the market to everyone. This man's name is Welch, is his last name. You've all drank Welch's grape juice. And uh, the church that he was in was the Methodist church. So he's the one that started that. He kept mu making music in his life with what he had left after a great disappointment. Now the second uh, thought that our author has is after a painful heartache, we're called to make music with all we have left. There's a woman named uh, Madeline Hildreth. Uh, she was a, a wonderful uh, book reviewer. She's well respected and loved by her friends. And she contracted polio when she was just three years old. And finally, after many surgeries, she could walk, but only with the help of heavy braces and, and crutches. And she's never able to walk normally. She, she was never able to, to, to dance and and she was never able to play outside games with all the other children. Uh, what, a, what a frustration for a teenage girl to have. She said she had to work on her attitude and give up self-pity and her jealousy uh, of all who could easily do the things that she had to work so very hard to accomplish. But Madeline refused to quit. She refused to bury her talent in the ground. She made music with what she had left. And finally, the, the third uh, thought the author has, after great sorrow, we're called to make music with what we have left. The author tells us about a man in his church who was a, a man who could walk in the room and just light up the room when he walked in, just not even saving, just walking in. He was well loved and respected, and he had a great sense of humor. That was the best thing about him. Uh, but about 10 years ago, the man had this eye problem that quickly progressed and he lost the sight in both eyes. It caused great sorrow in a man because he could never do the things again that he loved to do so much. He could never drive his car. He could never play golf again. He couldn't get out into the community and just walk around like he loved to do so much. Depression and bitterness and disillusionment could have crushed this man. But instead, he kept making music with what he had left. His faith, his love, 
and his remarkable sense of humor. His favorite joke was he asked people if they knew what a honeymoon, sa honeymoon salad was. And of course, I don't know what a honeymoon salad is. And he said, it's just lettuce alone. Lettuce alone. <laughs> That's it. Got it? Okay. <laughs> We've all suffered great disappointments, but we uh, must keep making music. We can't just quit. We have to keep going. Bitterness will do us no good. Crying in the corner will do us no good. Uh, we have to forget and to move on and do the best we can with what we have left. We have to keep making music. So I ask you uh, to remember that if God had a refrigerator, your picture is on it because he loves you so much. And I want to remind you again before we go that if you need any kind of help, please call us, let us know. We'll do whatever we can for you. Um, and I remind you about Friday, all day long, drop off food here at the church, and we'll make sure that they get it. And the, the people in Jasper who are so very hungry and so very needing will get it. They'll be blessed, and you'll be blessed for bringing it. Uh, I'm Jerry Martin, Mr. Rayburn, uh, United Methodist Church, and we thank you for being with us today. God bless you, and have a beautiful week.